Hi my sewing lovers, welcome to my channel. My name is Johanna. If this is your first time clicking in, thank you so much. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Yeah, we do everything, fashion talk, sewing tutorial. If you are a fashion lover, if you are a sewing lover, yeah, it's the right place for you. So today, I will do a tutorial on how to draft a princess that bust here. A princess that bust here, like the dress I'm wearing, is a dart that starts all the way from the armhole to the bust point to the under bust down to the waistline. And I also share the technique on how to use a bust dart to contour the back pattern. If it's something you'd like to learn guys, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. That would go a long way for me. Thank you so much. Let's get to it. So let's start drafting. The first thing I'll do is to draw my perpendicular line that is my shoulder line and my center front line. I need to make sure that those lines are straight. You can use the aid of the ruler to make sure that those lines are straight. Right now, I'll be placing my vertical measurement, that is my shoulder, first of all, to my chest line, then to my bust line, which is 10.5, and my under bust line, which is 13.5, and my waistline, which is 16. And I would place it to the other side of the paper so that I can get a straight line. 9, which is my chest line, 10.5, which is my bust line, 13.5 which is my under bust line and 16 which is my waistline then I connect it with a straight ruler So at my shoulder point, I will divide my shoulder measurement by 2 which is going to give me 7.5 that is 15 divided by 2 that is 7.5 and I will use 3 by 3 inches for my neck measurement. Then I will use the aid of my curve ruler to give it a round neckline because that is what I want to go for. Then I'll mark exactly 7.5 on the chest line just as I marked on the shoulder point. Then I'll use the aid of my straight ruler and give it a straight line. Perfect. Then for my shoulder line, I'll go down by 1 inch. Then I'll use my straight ruler to connect from my neckline to my shoulder slope perfect then I'll measure from my shoulder slope to my chest line and divide it by 2 which is going to be 4 then from that midpoint I'll come out by 0.5 inch Then I will divide my bust by 4. My bust in this case 
is 34 and 34 divided by 4 is about 8.75 yeah so I would use my curve ruler to connect from the bus circumference the midpoint and my shoulder slope and I would get a perfect ham hole curve this is a perfect perfect ham hole curve guys can you see that nice next i would label all my lines that is my chest line my bust line my under bust line and my waist line then i would use my nipple to nipple measurement which is eight and divided by two which is gonna give me four and i'll place it on all my um last three measurements that is busts under bust and waist measure measurements and i will connect them with a ruler just as you can see in the video then i'll go out by two inches but if you are from 38 busts that is 38 inches bust measurements you can use 2.5 inches when it comes to this point next you're going to use the curve ruler to connect from the under bust to your bust point and you need to make sure the curve is smooth because that is where your bust is going to sit then from the midpoint on the ham hole you're going to connect it to the bust point with a straight line perfect then you're going to go down by two inches we are doing this by contouring the arm hole and removing any excess from the arm hole while, while this we're sewing then you can also extend the second line by two inches remember we contoured it by two inches we're also going to extend that line by two inches so what you remove you're going to take in good and you're also going to add it to the bust so that everything would match and everything will be equal good so from that second line you're going to use your curve ruler and connect it to the bust circumference so it's going to connect as a ham hole perfect now for my under bust my under bust circumference is 29 inches 29 inches divided by 4 is 7.25 and I would also add that 2 inches so that is also what I'm going to do for my waist my waist is also 29 inches then I'll connect from my bust all the way to my waist with my curved ruler but not the curvy side just the straight curvy side So I'm just going to label my center front and my side front and my center front is on fold and my side front I'm going to cut two. And guys remember that our front from the shoulder to waist is 16 and for the back shoulder to waist is 14. So the difference is two. So that is what I'm going to be using to create the dart. So I'm going to be using two to create a dart for my front. So I like using a bust that because your back waist 
but that is from your shoulder to your back waist is very different from your shoulder to your front waist so that it can give you a perfect fit So my sewing lovers, the first thing I'm going to be doing for the back is to draw a perpendicular line as always that is the shoulder line and a center back line. For the back is very straightforward, very simple, the shoulder line and the center back line. Then for the vertical measurements, we don't have a lot of measurements. So we're going to be doing from shoulder. To chest line which is nine inches shoulder to bust which is 10.5 shoulder to waist which is 14 remember it's 14 because it's minus two you don't need on the bust shoulder to bust which is 10.5 and shoulder to waist which is 14 inches perfect and our shoulder divided by 2 is 7.5 which is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 so we're going to mark it on our shoulder line and on our chest line and connect it with a straight ruler perfect then for the neck measurements we're going to be using three inches for the width and two inches for the depth you can use your hands to free end and sketch the neckline is <laughs> you can do it guys you don't have to use the ruler um, or you can just use your ruler <laughs> yeah Then for the shoulder slope, I'll be going down by 1 inches. Then I'll connect from the shoulder slope to the neckline. Then I'll be going 3.5 from the from chest line. Then I'll go out by 0.25 to get my hammer curve then i'll be also dividing my bust by four which is 8.75 and i'll mark then i would connect those three dots with my ham or curve Next, we're going to create a dart for the back. 
to do that we're going to divide our nipple to nipple measurement by two which is four and place it from the center back and connect those dots as you can see and go down from the chest by one centimeter because the dart at the back is longer than the dart at the front and also from either side we're going to go out by 0.5 inches so we're going to have one inch dart perfect so now it's time to impute our measurements so we're just going to add that dot on the bust that is 0 0.5 we're going to divide our waist by 4 and add the 1 inch for the dart intake We're not going to use that side, no, we're going to use the straight curvy side as always. <laughs> So I want to confirm with my side front so we can see it's the same so that's perfect. It's time to cut, 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 we're gonna cut, 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 cut. So guys, I'm actually done with the pattern. It's so simple as you can see. You just have to know the techniques, know how to um, take your accurate measurements and also use your post that. It's very, very essential. So yeah, I'm just trying to manipulate my neckline. I want a square neckline yeah i want a square neckline i don't want to do like a round neckline so i'm going to be doing doing a sewing video yeah i'm going to be doing a sewing video my next video will be a sewing video where i'll be sewing this pattern and for the waist i'll be adding a peplum so it's going to be a princess that bust here with a peplum top so guys stay tuned because i would be there I would be giving you the nicest tutorial ever guys don't forget to subscribe like and comment guys if you enjoyed this video if you like this video guys if you learned something from this if you learned one or two or three things guys please write I learned I learned something I learned something all right boss here yeah, then it will just make my heart glad I would be so happy I would sleep sound <laughs> yes guys so also for the back I also want like a round deep neckline not too deep but just a bit of deep neckline yes so first of all I want to use a pencil to sketch the round neckline 
before I go with my marker so it's very essential to do that but if you're very confident with yourself you can just go ahead and use your marker but I prefer to use my pencil guys thank you so much for watching I really enjoyed this tutorial I really enjoyed filming I really enjoyed editing I really enjoyed everything about this tutorial um, see you in my next tutorial thanks for watching I appreciate you and bye bye from me Thank <laughs> you.